Say people have lost everything, look around your room right now. Your refrigerator, washer, dryer, clothes, furniture sitting on the street, thrown away. But as my co-anchor Dave Wagner explains, the tragedy is bringing the Fort Myers community together. If they need more water, we can cut open those other pounds. Here on a corner in the Iona neighborhood, we found a growing collection. Shirts, shoes, basic essentials that so many lost in the storm. And it all came together just days ago thanks to one local woman. I knew I had to do something, and I started reaching out to people, to the, our community, and our community definitely spoke up. Patty Puckabit said the first day, she and her kids went door to door, dropping off hot meals and water. Within a week, it's grown to what you see here. And over in North Fort Myers. Okay, this is the exact the exam room. They're treating a dog in here. A mobile animal clinic is up and running. U.S. College of Veterinary Medicine and the Florida Veterinary Medical Association are stepping up to help clinics that lost power. Here's a reminder on how you can help. 10 Tampa Bay has teamed up with the Tampa Bay Lightning and our radio partners, the Dove, the Eagle, and Magic 94.9. If you want to donate money, just scan the QR code on your screen. Your donations will go to the Lightning Foundation, which will make grants to local relief groups working hard in the disaster zone.